Good morning. It's 5.45 a.m. here in Osara, just about 10 minutes before sunrise, and I'm driving over now to the Nosara Biological Reserve. It's a spot that I visited a few weeks ago on my scouting trip, and it looked really, really promising, although my late arrival and the heavy winds weren't really doing us any favors then. Well, let's get going and see what the morning has in store for us. Here we are at the entrance of the little trail that I walked a few weeks ago. And um, I came back here last weekend for a little afternoon walk. And the birding was quite good. Uh, but especially in dry season here in Costa Rica, it's the early bird that catches the worm and the early birder who sees the bird. Now this could not have started any better. A couple of birds that I was really hoping for showed up right away on the trail here. We had a grey culled wood rail crossing the road. It's a very shy bird, it's not particularly rare, but still quite elusive. And then we had a couple of white-necked puff birds um, in the tree up there. They're so cool. I remember the first time seeing them I was thinking, what the heck is a kingfisher doing in a forest? This seems to be a very reliable spot for this species. I saw it briefly in my first visit here and then again last weekend. I think in general the dry forest is an excellent place to actually see this bird because in much of its range it's often obscured by leaves. And finally I even managed to catch a glimpse of a collared forest falcon. Now that's something that definitely doesn't happen every day. But those weren't the only birds. There was just so much going on at this time. Let's see if we can sort it out. Now the mannequins are calling. At this point I feel the mannequins are just mocking me. I hear them in the background all the time and the other day I had perfect, perfect views of the mannequins.
What a morning indeed. I think we're already up to 35 or so species. Um, it's no Monteverde, but it's not bad for a little beach town. And I think I just discovered a new trail that I wasn't aware of before. I have absolutely no idea where it takes me, but that's all the encouragement I need. Let's go check it out. I just saw the tiniest snake I've ever seen. <laughs> I think it's already worth it for that. It was like this. So I stumbled across this little trail here by accident. I must have walked past it about nine or 10 times by now, but for some reason I never even considered taking it. Um, it appears that it's taking me right into the heart of the Reserva Biologica, which is what I was looking for. I was looking for an entrance to this place and I think I just might have found it on accident. Let's see. Now this trail is really, really cool. Or it gets you eaten by crocodiles. Or both, probably both. I'm not walking there. It's giving me some Jurassic Park vibes. Oh, so this is where it leads. That's actually pretty fantastic. We're coming out right at the Boca de Rio Nosara. Um, you remember I started a video there. It's where the Nosara River meets the ocean. Um, fantastic spot in its own right. Look at these guys. Well, that was a nice surprise and it also seriously improved our bird total for the morning i think we're above 50 birds now it's not bad at all for two two and a half hours of walking around here Ooh, trying not to get attacked by monkeys and it's really really convenient i thought these two spots were disconnected i thought you had to drive all the way around to get from one to the other turns out you just walk this beautiful trail along the mangroves and you're there and that actually gives me a pretty crazy idea I was checking the eBird hotspots recently and someone seems to have done uh, quite some serious birding in Ostional. That's about a 30 minute drive from here. And he saw, I think 80 or so species over the course of a few days. And that got me to thinking like, I wonder how many birds you can see in the area around Nosara in a, in a single day. Like what would a big day turn up? And you know what, let's do that. Let's do a big day together. Let's try to find as many species in the Nusara area in one day as we possibly can. Some serious, desperate birding. It might be a little bit embarrassing in the end, but I don't care. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. What a beautiful morning. I'm still so excited to have seen the forest falcon earlier. Such a good bird for the year and to get really decent views of it is something that really doesn't happen every day. So really, really, really stoked about that one. Um, for now, it's getting um, warmer again. It's getting quieter again and I'm getting hungrier and hungrier. I think I have to obtain empanadas and um, we'll talk once I have accomplished that. Here it is, a chicken potato empanada. Let's try. Mm. They really know how to make empanadas in Osara. Fantastic. I'm excited. I'm excited about how this morning went. I'm excited about this empanada and I'm really looking forward 
to our little big day adventure um, coming next week. But now I'm heading home. Um, got a video to edit. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please consider leaving a like and or a comment down below. It would help us tremendously. Speaking of helping tremendously, did you know we design and sell t-shirts? Check out our store at habiru-clothing.com for some seriously cool bird shirts. And the best part, every purchase directly contributes to habitat conservation projects. So check it out. See you next time. Until then, happy birding. Ciao.